Hello my friends. I put together a plan to build this four unit grow bed system that I have incorporated into my aquaponics greenhouse. Here's the drawing to the unit. At any time you can hit the pause button if you want to study any particular drawing. The drawings include a front view, a top view, and a right side view. I've included a cutting list. On this cutting list, my measurements are from uh, lumber that was milled at the actual dimension. This is rough cut lumber. And so my one by three measures one inch by three inches. Now the dimension that it will affect will be your horizontal cut. If you're using uh, lumber from a lumber yard, you're going to have an eight foot uh, length uh, to the grow beds. Mine is measuring 97 and a half inches. Uh, if you're using the three quarter inch dimension instead of the one inch, uh, it should break out just about right at eight foot. After selecting your stock and cutting to size, you assemble the top frame that holds the half barrels together. Here you can see I'm doing this in mass setup. You then assemble the leg framework. The horizontal support for the barrel is at a different height between the front and the rear. Remember this when inserting the barrel halves into the framework. Attach the legs to the upper framework. Attach a spreader between the front and the rear legs. You can see here in the foreground. The unit is now ready for the barrel halves to be placed into it. Notice here the legs are setting on concrete pads. The barrels are now cut in half. Notice the barrel in the front. The saw cut goes right between the threaded plugs. If the plug's in there, you can cut right through the plug. As you see here, I left the insert into the barrel. The top of the barrels are placed to the back of the framework. Secure the barrels to the frame with stainless steel screws. You can now attach the top cap work and paint the units. Holes are now drilled into the barrel and the plumbing work is now fitted. I found that tying four barrels together as a single unit works much better. These photographs are showing each barrel as an individual unit. A four barrel unit can cut my water usage down by one fourth and one fourth the number of bell siphons to maintain. You can see I'm weighting my bell siphon down with a cut brick. This keeps the bell siphon from floating. Underneath the bell siphon is this P-trap drain. It takes air pressure from the bell siphon to burp this P-trap and it creates a very positive siphoning action and it's extremely reliable. This tube protects the drain that connects the barrels together. This is the interconnecting barrel drains and the bell siphon drain. You can see the plumbing connections underneath the barrels. Notice to the right here the 2x4 that's holding the weight of the barrels how it's supported and the weight is transferred to the ground. The weight of the barrel is directly on the 2x4. This is a picture of the inner barrel plumbing connection and the P-trap. The P-trap connects directly into the main drain that runs into the sump tank. This is the one by three support that's between the two barrels. This keeps the sides of the barrels from caving in. Test your siphoning system before filling with gravel. Make sure that everything is working fine. Uh, after you fill it, you're ready to plant and uh, good luck. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.